to Moo Moo Math and Science and ordering rational numbers. And in this particular example, I'm going to order fractions from least to greatest. Okay, so let's start with these four fractions. I have three eighths, one fourth, one half, and five eighths. And uh, they don't have common denominators, so I don't really know how to order them. So the first thing we need to do is get all of them set to a common denominator. So Let's see if we can find the common denominator. We have 8, 4, and 2. Uh, an easy method you can use is to um, go ahead and create a factor tree for each of the numbers and then see which numbers they have in common. So let me show you what we're doing. So the factor tree of 8 is 2 times 4, and then 4 is 2 times 2. I circle the prime, so we have 2, 2, and 2. And then 4 is 2 times 2 in the both prime. And then 2 is already factored. Next, what I can do is write the numbers down in order and write out their factors. So 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. And 4 is 2 times 2. And then 2 is 2. And then find the number that has the largest. Since 2 is 1, I will use only the number with the most amount of 2s. In this particular example, we have 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And so we can cross these out because 8 has more 2s in them. So the common denominator is going to be 8. So I'll write the 8 right here. Okay. So now once we have that, we can set them all using the common denominator. So since negative 3 eighths is already set up, it will be negative 3 eighths. Now 1 fourth. Uh, 4 goes into 8 two times, so I'm going to write the 8. 4 goes into two, 8 two times, 2 times 1 is 2. Remember the negative sign. 2 goes into 8 four times. 4 times 1 is 4, and then we have 5 eighths. So now we have something that we can compare, because we now all have a common denominator. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to order them from least to to greatest. And remember, with a negative number, actually the larger the number, the smaller it is. So negative 3 eighths will be first, okay, and then negative 2 eighths, and then 4 eighths is smaller than 5 eighths, and then 5 eighths would be the greatest. And then the last step I'm going to do is go ahead and write the equivalent fraction of what we started with. And 2 eighths was 1 fourth. Okay. And then 4 eighths was a half. And 5 eighths was 5 eighths. So there we go. From least to greatest, you have negative 3 eighths, negative 1 fourth, 1 half, and 5 eighths. And it just so happened I had them from least to greatest. And again, what I did was I found a common denominator and then converted it. Let's work one other example. I hope I didn't put them in the uh, order from least to greatest, but that's okay. We can double check that. Okay, again, we have different, um, we don't have a common denominator, so we need to find a common denominator. So I'm going to create, my numbers are 5, 2, and 4. So I'm going to create a factor tree, and 5 is already factored, so it's prime. 2 is already factored. And then 4 is 2 times 2. I'm now going to list the numbers. And 5, there's only one 5 prime number, so we're going to use 5. And 4 is 2 times 2. And so since 4 has the greatest amount of 2s, we're going to use 2 times 2. So it's going to be 2 times 2 times 5. And that's going to give us a common denominator. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. So now 20 is our common denominator. So 5 goes into 20. Um, 5, 10, 15, 4 times. And 4 times 3 is 12. So we have 12, 20. And then negative 1 fifth. 5 goes into 20 again 4 times. 4 times 1 is 4. So we have 4 twentieths. Remember that's negative. And then 2 goes into 20 10 times, so that will be negative 10, 20. 
and 4 goes into 25 times, so that will be 5 twentieths. Let's make sure I got my signs correct. Okay, so now let's order them. Okay, remember, the larger, when you're working with negative numbers, the larger the number, the smaller it is. So we have negative 10 20, and then negative 4 20, and then 5 20, and then 12 20. And so now the last thing we need to do is just write the number that goes with this. Okay? So 10, 20 is negative 1 half. Okay? So I'll do a check there. And then negative 4, 20 is negative 1 fifth. And then 5, 20 is 1 fourth. And then last but not least, we have 12, 20, which is 3 fifths. So there we go, fractions from least to greatest. We found a common denominator, which was 20, using a factor tree, and then we found a common denominator and ranked them from there. I hope that helps in finding, in ranking fractions from least to greatest. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math upload the new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.